Good morning, YouTube. It's Rob, the Bandit Scouter. Today is Tuesday, April 17th. Um, sorry about the, the weird color. It's still dark here. I just got done with my workout and I've got my son at Bible study, so this is really my only free time to make my video and talk to you guys. Uh, let's see. I'll start off with the numbers. Uh, my highest recorded weight was 345 back in January. Uh, the date I got my surgery date, I weighed in at 333. Day of my surgery, February 21st, I weighed in at 326, and I am maintaining again. I am still at 299. Uh, I'm really hoping that it, it's what uh, Banded Wendy explained in her one video is that, you know, I've, I've stepped into this uh, uh, Couched 5K program, and I've, I've started, you know, intensifying my workout and my body's going, you know, hey, what the heck are you doing? You're making a sweat. We're going to hold on to more water. Uh, so, you know, I would like to see the scale moving to the left, but I'm happy it's not moving to the right, if that makes sense. And thanks to Brandy Spangler for uh, pointing that one out to me. Um, she came through with a... a a reply to one of my videos, and it was exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, so thank you for that. Thank you, YouTube community. Thank you, everyone that's out there watching my videos. Uh, if they help you, I'm I'm super happy. I know I really enjoy watching your videos. They are a, a huge motivation to me. Um, I wish I had more time in the day to do it, but you know, hey, don't we all? Uh, uh, who am I kidding? If I had more time in the day, I'd probably just waste it. Uh, overall, it's been a pretty good week. Um, like I said, I've been doing the, the Couch to 5K thing. Uh, I found a great iPhone app. i um, wanting to say it's by Zen Labs. And it is free. And it lets you play music in the background. And it's got your warm-up period, your running period, your walking period all timed out for you. Uh, it tells you when to start walking, when to stop walking. Um, it does automatic Facebook and, and Twitter posts. Uh, wish it did Google Plus posts, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? It's free. Um, there's also a, a paid version of it. The free one obviously has the, the silly advertisement scrolling across the top of the screen. But honestly, when I'm running, I've got the phone strapped to my arm, so I don't see it. So who really cares? Um... The proceeds go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which is a tremendous organization. Uh, this is going to make me sound like a cheapskate, but that's kind of why I went with the free version. Because they make more money on the free version than they do the paid version. Because every time one of those advertisements rolls through, they get money. A lot of people don't know that, but eh. What of it? Um... Let's see, other things going on. I get to go camping, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. I'm looking forward to that, going out with uh, a new group of Weeblos that just bridged up uh, and show them the joys of the outdoor life. Um, I'm thinking of starting to invite my scouts to go on runs with me. I think that that would be a huge motivation for me to, to pick up the pace. <coughs> and, you know... One of the points of the scout law is a scout is healthy, and part of the oath is, you know, keep myself physically strong. So it kind of fits in with the program, too, which is a good thing. Um, I'm not going to say I'm starting to enjoy running, but I'm starting to loathe it less. <laughs> uh, I have found out that if I've got the right music playing in the background, then I can almost put my body in automatic. Uh, and yeah, I know I'm an old 43-year-old guy, but uh, I kind of like running to uh, Rob Zombie and White Zombie and Megadeth and Old School Judas Priest and Old School Alice Cooper. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do? That's what I like. Um, my son's pretty much given up on coming out running with me, but yeah, you know, 16-year-old, they take something up for a week and it's gone but he still runs with his step team and all those other good things so I mean he's he's like I was in high school he's tall and slender and 
got energy coming out of his ears, and I keep telling him to, to cherish those days and to not get into the gluttony period the way I did because eventually your metabolism will change, and we all know what happens then. You end up with a, a realized band wrapped around your stomach. Um, yeah, I'm still having, speaking of my band, I'm, I still, I think it's the greatest decision I've made in my life with the exception of, of picking my beautiful bride. Um, but I still feel like I have absolutely no restriction and, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, you know, and unless I, I gulp food down, I, feel like it just runs right through if I if I do it properly and I, I take my little tiny bites and put the fork down between bites and chew 50 times uh, I feel like I could eat an entire buffet from Golden Corral but you know if I just take a, a full size mouthful chew it three times and swallow it down then I feel the restriction but that's not right that's not healthy that's not what I'm supposed to do so um um in my mind's eye, I'm being good. I'm I'm keeping my self control. I'm I'm sticking to my my toddler plate size meals, and I'm not snacking between meals, even though I I'm ravenous. Um, and I I know everyone out there's answer is going to be, well, hey, that's easy. Just go get a fill. Well, you know, I'm I'm just over eight weeks out, and my surgeon has a policy that you don't get your first fill until you're at least twelve weeks out. And you've maintained weight or you've gained weight. So, I mean, I, I love Dr. Davidson to death. I think he's a great man. He's a great surgeon. He did a great job on me. But uh, he seems to be in the minority on, on this one. Because everyone else is going, Oh, I got my first fill at four weeks. Oh, I got my first fill when the band was put in. Well, yeah, I had problems when they put my band in. And they actually took all the fluid out of it. It was at a negative so, and I, I was great those first six weeks. And then I woke up one day and there was nothing there. Uh, so anyway, May 2nd is the date of my first fill and I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. Uh, let's see other good things that are going on. Um, in addition to the couch to 5k waking up every morning at 430. Oh my gosh. I forgot there was a 430 in the morning. Um, I'm going out walking with, uh, a couple of the folks at work and we walk a, uh, it's a, a two mile loop, uh, that is kind of backwoods and hilly and, uh, we maintain about a, a three minute mile pace. Uh, so that, that's nice. It's good to go out and, and work out with people. Um, I tried singing along with the songs when I was running this morning and, yeah, my endurance isn't there yet. Uh, I, I didn't quit running, but wow, I really winded myself. <laughs> um, boy, I should have taken notes. Uh, let's see. Melanie Sky Moon 1982, uh, she just did a, a post on bedroom things. Uh and that was, you know, pretty informative. Uh, I can tell you as a guy, we've got the opposite problem. When you've got a big fat belly, you've got low testosterone. But when that belly starts to go away, your testosterone level comes up. So my wife is, let's just say, not pleased with uh, my efforts recently. <laughs> uh so, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and losing it with Rebecca, you had a great, great series of, of Q and A's. Thank you very much. They came at, at just the right time. Uh, wow. I, I mean, there's so many of you out there lapped up Lizzie. Haven't seen it in, in about a week, week and a half, but you're working those crazy shifts. I'm sure we'll see a video from you soon. Uh, Gary one Fido 007, I think up in Canada, uh, with your thin band, you are doing awesome. You're doing great things up there. Keep it up. Um, uh, yeah, I, 
I can't think of anyone else to, to shout out to because there are so many of you out there. Um, so, you know, please, you know, keep the scales moving in the right direction. Keep moving. Uh, let's all get healthy together. Class of 2012, you rock. Because I keep hearing about the class of 2009 from my new toy for Katie and, and Banded Wendy and all of your fellows. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it out to the meet and greet in Las Vegas because that's just too far, too short a notice. And uh, my company is in turmoil right now, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to be employed in two weeks. Um, yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, have a great week. Uh, and again, please keep the scales moving in the right direction. Drink, 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 chew, 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 and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.